<laughs> what is going on ladies and gentlemen welcome back to auto auction rebuilds today i made another horrible financial decision and i picked up another mercedes this is my 2014 mercedes e550 and yes it shares the same engine as the s550 sitting right next to it i got this car for unbelievably cheap in my opinion but there's a few reasons why we got monkey wrench mike with us today he's way over there he came all the way down here from tulsa three hours just to go for a ride just for go for a ride in the new cabriolet the cabriolet yes i forgot to mention that didn't i it's yeah. it's not just an e550 Pshaw. yeah much better it's a cabriolet <laughs> um so i got it for 14 225 out the door and it's only got i think 74,000 miles on the odometer wow there nice. there's a couple caveats to that it, it's it's not a big deal to me but to some it would be a deal breaker it is a salvage rebuilt oh. sorry rebuilt salvage title mm -hmm. now here's the deal it was salvaged when it was brand new it had 12 miles on it when it was salvaged oh yes Oops. yeah it was salvaged as a potential flood potential potential flood, flood. that's what it was listed as potential flood they couldn't figure it out if it was water or not this car would cost you twenty five thousand dollars anywhere else yeah i got it for fourteen two twenty five and it is a potential flood. So just be safe and assume it was probably in a flood. Sure, it was in a flood. The thing is though, is it had 12 miles on the odometer and now it has 74 and it's been like 10 years. So I think if something catastrophic was going to happen, it probably would have already taken place, but that's not all, there's, there's more, okay? It was listed as having an inoperable roof. For, okay. for whatever reason, the convertible top does not work with only 74,000 miles, typical Mercedes stuff. Yeah. Yeah. And you have to be aware that this engine is the same as that engine, which means there's the potential for oil to be in the wiring harness. And we've been through that already. Yes. That, that was fun. You want to do it again? No. Oh, <laughs> in a smaller car? It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. It wasn't that bad. There's less room to work on it, though, in this. Definitely a little bit less room to work. And somebody put aftermarket wheels on this, which is, it's fine. It's fine, I guess. I, I don't know what the original wheels would have looked like. Yeah. But if they look like that, ugh, those are blah. I don't, I don't, eh. These, they look all right. It's got good tires all the way around. It's super filthy. It does have some typical dings and scrapes, you know, going around it. It's not a car that I would say was kept in a garage parked way out in the north 40 away from other cars you know somebody just i don't i think they just they drove it but the carfax aside from the the flood issue actually looks really good it's got a nice carfax report and overall even the convertible top is in really good shape it looks like it's been sitting a while though look at this mike oh boy now there's sticks. All, all that stuff. Oh, yeah. Wow. Yeah, there's lots of... I don't know if I can get you guys down there. Is that the drainage? There's lots of dead... Yeah. Ugh. Yeah, that'll need to be cleaned. That's nice. Um, it's as is. Yeah. So, who knows? All I can tell you is the tow company dropped it off when I was not here. And they left the key for me in a place that I have them leave the key. So this is going to be our first look at this. I haven't had, I've got a screwdriver because I want to put a tag on it. Obviously we got to try, people are going to get me for putting a screw. I know, right? Yeah. <laughs> um, unlock it. Let's pop the trunk too. I want to see what's in the trunk. Okay. There's a tag. Just use that one. Oh, that's not my tag. <laughs> that's, it came with somebody else's license plate. I wonder if that's a repo or something. Okay. Um, I'll tell you something. Yeah, I don't know. Um, isn't there supposed to be something for the convertible top? 
that yeah, plugs like a, in somewhere here? A, like a parcel. Right. Because if, and it looks like there's some rails over there mm -hmm. because without it, without the piece, yeah, there's no way this is going to work. Well, the convertible top wouldn't work. You got a little switch right there too. See on the side? Right, right here? Right there, yeah. That's oh, a micro right switch, See? a right micro there. switch. So, if, okay, so if we need to, we might be able to fool. Yeah, you hear it, you can hear it click? Yeah. Okay, so I noticed yeah. that in the pictures, it had lots of pictures and I, I noticed it looked like there was something missing and I figure somebody probably took out the the package or whatever yeah. you call it, you know, so they could fit more stuff in here. And they probably just, it got traded in or something and they forgot about it. So, that sucks, but we might still be able to get the top to to come to come down with paper clip it, you know, or clothespin. Line. Yeah, clothespin. Huh? All right, Ooh, let's. I like the lights on the back. It's gorgeous. This interior. Ooh. I like it. It's oh, anything but plain. Brown. Is that brown? Yeah. That is brown, right? Brown. Yeah. I thought my eyes were playing tri tricks on me. Look at ah, oh, that is. That, ooh, it smells like a laundry mat. I was gonna say hospital, but yeah. <laughs> it's, you've got little air vents here for your neck so that on cold mornings, if you wanna put the top down, you can have some heat yeah. blowing on your neck or in the heat, you can have some cold blowing on your neck as well. I think these are power. Yes, look at that. This is look a whole that. new Randy. I don't know who you are because the old Randy wouldn't know what to do with Oh this. man, I've got it figured out. <laughs> I got it. I'm, <laughs> let me tell you, I have a Maserati. Yeah. And I'm working on a Maserati. See? Yeah. So, yeah. You have changed. Well, you rubbed off on me with those dadgum Mercedes, man. <laughs> I'm curious how uh, how I fit in the... Well... Oh, glasses. Oh, there you go. Put I got on. these for you, Mike. Oh, thank so, you. This brings back memories of Sam Crack. There we, yeah, I kind Except of. Except his were broken. broken. <laughs> he gave you broken. I at he least gave you... Me. <laughs> <laughs> and then he never returned my text. Oh, he never did. dang. Yeah. That's cold. <laughs> that's that's cold. Call, ooh, I can't. Uh, you can't get in? I don't think I can get in this, to be honest with you. Let me let me try it this way. Oh, okay. You got a crappy little console there. Oh, this is nice wood here, though. Real wood, Mike. Okay. For the cup holders, and they work. You've got the Harman Kardon stereo system. This little wind deflector thingy. There's not much. Oh, yeah. wow. There's not much room That'll back here. Worse. What is this? Here we go. Get ready. Oh, no. You're going to get smashed. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Oh, wow. Yeah. <laughs> no way, How man. How does that feel? An adult is not. I don't know, though. Oh, I can even go back. No, that's <laughs> my... Uh, this is not, this is not good. Look at this. Oh. It even moves as you go, that's fancy. It says neck pro. Neck pro. Neck pro on the back of it. Okay, well. Here, all the room. Let me, uh, let me climb out of the, oh, wow. Not as young as you used to be. Okay. That. Screw the back seat, that's. Not graceful. They might. Well, they shouldn't even put back seats in this, in my opinion. They might, might as well just made it a roadster, man. You know, and it, well, they have one in SL, I suppose. Exactly. They didn't. They didn't need this. Okay, so we can move this seat back some. That was in uh, the headrest goes up. Interesting. Okay, you got lots of seat controls for bolsters. I assume is what all that stuff does. Um, let's check out the driver's side. Let's pop the hood. I cannot wait to take this for a drive. I am really, really, really excited to drive this car. The windows index a little slowly. When you go to open them, it's almost, yeah, it's almost like you got to wait just a second. It's, this thing is actually in pretty good shape. This seat's a little dirty. Definitely could use a cleaning. But aside from that, and I, that something about that brown. I love this brown. It's a milk chocolate color. Milk chocolate. I was thinking, never mind. Yeah, we'll go with, we'll go with milk chocolate. Oh man, that I really do. I like this color. 
I like this color a lot. Lots of buttons. Um, obviously, infotainment is all here. Climate control down here. And then heated seats, cooled seats, foldable rear headrest, eco mode. Nobody wants that. And then the passenger gets their own set of buttons too. Hazard lights. And I talked to John over there at Mercedes because uh, I was curious what these buttons right or this button right here does i saw it in the pictures and i thought it was for maybe an exhaust a valve exhaust and he said no he said that's for your seatbelt retractor he said you should be able to push it and it'll let go or something or something like that oh wait do these oh yeah yeah those come out and they suck in pop out and yeah 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 okay. yep any books lots of books oh and the tow hook it might have been used before it's, That's a it's, great sign. They put it in the glove box. Well, on a red light, there there could be something that's not, you know, not okay with it. Paddle shifters, too. Very nice. You got memory seats, of course. You wouldn't expect any less from a Mercedes, right? You know, these wheels are kind of growing on me. I don't know. I. It's got some rock chips in the paint. Same thing with that one, though, unfortunately. It's black cars are especially if they're going to be like highway where's the where's the ah first look ooh she's that's yeah that's wow as mike would say that's a she's a dirty girl she's a dirty girl spank 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 <laughs> you do that with your own cars leave mine alone <laughs> Okay, it, it is a little, uh, but you know, it's got, it's even got the Mercedes. Everything is still here. Everything looks like it's where it's supposed to be. Mm -hmm. What is this? A, uh, a dipstick? No, oh, mine came with one too, didn't it? But wasn't it in the front? I thought yours was in the front. Isn't the S550 over here? It yeah. is. Yeah. Is this even the same engine? Look at that belt. It says Mercedes on it. Oh, that's good. Mercedes, yeah. yeah, it's a Mercedes belt. And before you say it's original, <laughs> as it could be, it has no cracks on it. Okay. No cracks. So somebody, somebody must have at least at some point been taking care of it. Everything looks good. And there's no history of it being in an accident. Okay. Just that flood thing. So where did, where did, I, where did I put the keys? Let's go ahead and give her her first start. There it is right there. And the key is in beautiful shape unlike the S-Class with 180,000 miles on it. Yeah. Let's see what she sounds like. I gotta be careful I don't door ding both of my cars here. Here we go. Ooh, air condition is on high. Uh, where's my air conditioning buttons? Okay, we'll just leave those alone. Let's turn eco off. We don't want eco. And we have different modes. Sport mode. And sport mode. Ooh. Your convertible top is right there. We have a warning light on the dash. Replace key battery. And that's it. 72,000. It's only got 72,000 miles even better and oh there's your license plate screws right there somebody's q-tips and i don't know what all these do convertible top operation hey i'm gonna try this top real quick is the truck closed okay let me see what happens let's see if we pull it trunk partition open yeah of course and if we push it down it does nothing uh, okay did that open the boy she sounds good yeah it gave me an error message for trunk partition open yeah so there is there is there only one switch or is there another one there's not one on this so just one switch is all we got to do to what if i sit back here and hold the switch while you put the oh that could crush me actually get in the trunk i could yeah i'd just drive off 
He probably would. Yeah. <laughs> um, hey, no clothespin. Wait, what is this? What is this thing? Hold on. I can't. I can't see. <sighs> this doesn't even look like it belongs. Well, is that just a cover? I think it's yeah. It's just like a, a plastic cover. Okay. Well. I was very hopeful that maybe that was something, but yeah. I guess not. Spare tire? Oh, it's full of air. Your white gloves. The Fancy jack. License plate. Oh, so I could put my yeah. auto auction rebuilds thing on there. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. Let me uh, let me watch a quick YouTube video and try to understand the whole top operation thing. It may be as simple as just throwing a paper clip on there, but I don't think, or a clothespin. I don't think I have one, but we could shove something in there to make it think that. Something. Yeah. I'll bet the piece that's missing in there is super expensive too. Aren't we stupid? Just watched a YouTube video. Yeah. And the plastic piece that we thought was just some, you know, look, you gotta reach way back. There it is. Oh. That's it. It's got it. Boy, if you didn't know, you wouldn't know, but you've got to reach in here. And so if you need cargo space, you push it up. Uh -huh. But if you want to use the top, you have to fold it down, which it sucks. Cause that, that thing. bingo, bingo. So, ah, they said the convertible top didn't work. What do you think? Is it going to work? I hope so. Okay, here, I'm going to give you the camera. It's a perfect night for a because if it works, oh, wouldn't it be nice to have the top down? All right, let's close this hood. Oh, please work, please work. Free, wouldn't have cost any money at all. Let's turn this off. Nothing, crap. Wait, there we go. There we go. There we go. Look at this. Come on, baby. It sounds good. <gasps> Dude. That is so fast. You have a convertible. I have a freaking convertible. <laughs> 402 horsepower, zero to 60 in 4.5. Let's test that. Let's go eat and test it. We do need to go eat. Let's throw a plate on it. Let's go for a ride. Okay. Okay. I like pushing buttons and I don't know what they do. So I saw this button by the convertible top and I pushed it. Do it again. Do it again. Go up. <laughs> now there's another light that doesn't come on. I don't know if maybe you got to be driving, but I think there's something up here that's supposed to, a deflector that's supposed to pop out, but uh -huh. you it may come out automatically when you're driving and you can see it's separated here. So this piece actually flips out to keep the wind off of you. Are you serious? You're getting too fancy for me. I'm telling you, man. Okay, let's put a plate on it. I didn't notice there's speakers up here. Metal grills. Oh, wow. Ooh. How nice. Okay. This thing looks so much better with yes i mean it just you know what it makes it look even better Can you inside <laughs> are you driving no it's not gonna drive it all right i'll drive it then look at this oh. thank, you. thank you for the seat belt oh man and that little bit of air conditioning blowing that's nice yeah oh cooled seats here yeah definitely thing. oh the massage does this i don't think this has it that's heated seats. Oh. Or no, that's folding down your headrest. Oh. Which they're already folded. Okay, let me play with this. Let's see if we got any massage features. All right, so the first thing I've noticed is there's no warning lights on the dash. Unheard of. Imagine that. No check engine, no airbag. Nothing. <laughs> Nothing. But it also doesn't have a lot of the features that the S-Class has. No massaging seats. Not that I found anyway. I, I, I don't really know how to work everything in here this screen kind of sucks compared to the s class's giant this old and and they're the same year both are 2014s 
but this one did not get updated quite yet. I think <laughs> the S class got it first and it's that trickle down effect uh, all the way down to the, the baby bins. So I guess we've got her in sport mode, sport suspension, sport mode. So I guess we'll just take her out for a spin. She's nice and warmed up. She also needs some gas, so it wouldn't hurt to put some fresh 93 octane in her. I think she'd like that. Oh, let me put my sunglasses on. Oh yeah, yeah. Where's yeah, your Where's your sunglasses that so I gave you, Mike? Right here. Well, you, you gotta have your sunglasses. You're in a black convertible Benz, man. There you go. See? All right. Yeah. Not quite the same effect. <clears throat> She's a light little thing. Real light. Okay. Oh. 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 Wow. Oh. <laughs> First thing you do with a car you've never driven before, Ooh, right? You go, you it. smash on it to see what it does. Boy, where's traction control? We can turn that off. We can turn that off and light up them tires, man. All right. God. Wow. She will go. Good Lord. It's gonna need a lot more gas real soon. Oh yeah. Okay. <laughs> the way I'm driving it. <laughs> wow. This is a fun little car. Good night. We probably should have broke it in, you know, by gingerly driving it first. Pshaw. No. What's that? I don't know. What was that? Oh, the oh that went the down. thing above your head. Oh. So hold on, let's see if this if this comes out when you. Yep, there it is. It's a spoiler. Aha! No kidding. <laughs> and then if you flip this up, yep, there it is. I'm on the wrong side of the road. That's okay. I cool it. But it really works. It does. It deflects the wind so that you can just, and you can turn it off if you want the wind yeah. blowing all over you. You can shut it off by pushing a button right here. You push that button and it okay. stops. See? And there it goes down because we've slowed down. Oh, that's wow. Cool. Okay. Let's just kind of. You hear the tires it's spinning? Right. Mercedes, Mike. I, I love these things. And I can hear you talking. There's no, <laughs> there's no sound. Oh man. And you know, true to uh, being bougie, I got the air conditioner on with the top down. You know, just to. <laughs> oh man, how she whip around these corners. Oh my God! Really, really! <laughs> oh, oh man! You gonna drive it on the way home? I will. Yeah. You will. All right. Mike. Mike yeah. will take her for a rip on the way home. No warning. There's no lights, guys. There's nothing on the dash. Nothing. It's a Mercedes doing what it was originally intended to do. No, not break. Right. Just go. Oh man. What a great car. Does this have Distronic? Yes, it does. It has Distronic. Very nice. So one of the other things this car has that I... Check tires. Now, 41, 47, 38, and 39. Those pressures need to be adjusted for sure. But one of the, one of the things this car has once I get it back on the road and... Oh, I got to put both hands on the wheel. It's going to make me put both my hands on the wheel. That's hard to do when you're filming car, but fine. Let me put both hands on the wheel. Mike, can you hold this camera? Of course. Let's yeah. see if uh Let's see if I can get the green steering wheel to come back on. It figures I I'm trying to record it and it won't come on. The roads are so crappy out here that the car has a hard time 
let me turn it let me turn it back on again let's get it up to speed let's get it up to about 60. Astronic plus is set it's not it's not gonna do it now I'm not getting the green steering wheel okay well anyway Mike Mike can tell you we had it. It drove for a little while. Yeah, it was almost self-driving. It was yeah. steering itself and everything just fine. But these roads are not ideal. If you notice, the lines disappear pretty regularly, like there. And the car is just not having it. We're currently getting 19.6 miles a gallon. And so far, aside from a low fuel light now, it's driving absolutely great. Oh, wow. Woo! Glad I saw that. Did you see that giant pothole in all the rocks? Uh, yeah. Monkey Wrench Mike and I were discussing traction control, right? Uh huh. And uh, we thought, how cool would it be? Oh my gosh. If you could shut traction control off. Yeah. Do you want me to get out and film your tires spinning? No. In this well, I'm not going to smoke them. <laughs> I don't want to. I don't want to damage anything. But we are out of gas. We're in sport mode, and traction control is off. Hmm. Do you think it'll spin the tires? What's going to happen next? I don't know. That's. I, I mean, I could just hit it, but the turbo lag. So, do I need to preload it a little bit, or just brake torque it just a hair? <laughs> the, the spoiler oh, came. Oh, the spoiler was. The spoiler came up. It said wow. no. It said we're about to go real fast. This guy came out to see what it was. <laughs> what happened there, Mike? I lost control. Look I, at that. I never Look lost. That the tire mark oh wow yeah i never lost control mike i did all, all of this was you intentional that? intentional wow this car will fly right, let's try it now no i'm now kidding <laughs> okay let's turn uh we'll turn trash control back on how's that <laughs> like, yeah <laughs> we'll just yeah <laughs> it sounds like somebody's screaming it, that thing goes it down. does that thing is uh that thing's a little a little weird okay well sport but maybe we don't need sport mode right now you let's let's turn it back to eco eco mode and comfort mode there we go <laughs> ah back to just good old yes. comfortable driving <sighs> all right let's uh we need we really need gas let's go do that well we made it back and monkey wrench mike did not drive didn't work out right Randy good. wouldn't let me. He wouldn't give up the wheel. That's not true. Whoa, wow. <laughs> wow. Wow. That's bright. There you go. Hey, can you guys see oh, Monkey Ridge? <laughs> your, I don't think your ice cream sundae survived. Oh, man. I'm going to eat it anyway. <laughs> it used to be pretty. <laughs> it, it did. It looked, well, except the guy Sassed. was... the guy. The guy was trying to bang out the green, oh. like they were barely even green bananas. They weren't coming off of the peel either. I, I told him, I said, man, just forego the bananas, man. You can, it ain't that big a deal. He was beating the hell out of them. He would have been so sick. <laughs> <laughs> so what, what what do you think? I love this. I do. But it's not an S-Class. I mean, no. It's not, it's not. But it's quiet. It's solid. Powerful. It's nice. It's Great really gas nice. mileage, too. Great gas mileage. Not that that's overly important, but it is something to take into consideration here. Over yeah. 42 miles. I don't even know if you guys can see it. We've done 23.3 miles a gallon. Mm -hmm. And that is with intentionally sliding around. We were sliding a lot. Yeah. On yeah. purpose. I'd never lost control. Never. Um, so, never. In, yeah, that's with all of that and the sport mode and the pulls. And um, <laughs> I got to tell you, I... Uh, I like it, but I agree with you 100%. It's really tough to decide if I would prefer this or the S-Class because the S-Class is just, <laughs> it's leaps and bounds beyond this car. But it, that's the point, though. Right. This isn't supposed to be an S-Class, and the S-Class isn't supposed to be this. 
it's dark it's getting hard for you guys to see i'm sure but i figured we'd get out and just take a look at those i love the headlights i love the little led strips that you guys probably can't see it is a very rigid car it holds its own it weighs like four thousand pounds oh look at those lights have you seen these tail lights in the dark Ooh! i didn't know they did wow. that wow well that's nice that is really nice it doesn't have all the fancy features that the s-class has it doesn't have massaging seats it, it doesn't have it does have the ability to steer itself which is nice um not on these roads but it, it can steer itself the convertible top that's real nice that's that's <laughs> that's a big bonus and considering it's such a heavy car honestly it rides really really nice so um I've gotten some really good deals lately. Really good you deals. Have. Real, I've been very lucky. You have been. I've been very lucky because these yeah. things could definitely go wrong. Um, I'm hope I hope I'm not jinxing myself here, but all of these cars have been sight unseen. Most of them have been on a red light, and what you get is what you get. Yeah. So this car would have cost you anywhere from twenty-five to thirty thousand dollars if you went to a dealership to buy it. Like I said, it's got a few, you know, it's got a few marks on its history there. Kind of like me. <laughs> Doesn't mean I'm not good. Just means, you know, I wasn't perfect. And this car isn't either. But considering its history, Dog gone close. I think you would be hard pressed to go to a dealership and buy one yeah. better than this for anything under $25,000. So with that, guys, I think we're going to get out of here. Mike, can we see you? Can't, we can't see Monkey Wrench Mike anymore. No, nope, he's, it's too dark. Yeah, I look best in the dark. That's a good thing. <laughs> me too. So <laughs> do me a favor, go subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike. His link is directly below this video. And do me a favor, drop a comment below and tell me what you think of the, uh, the new to me 2014 Mercedes E550. I had to do this so you could see me a little better. Like it's 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 very dark out here. I want to thank each and every one of you for taking time to watch my videos because you watching the videos makes cars like this possible on the channel. And I've seen some comments where people are saying, I've gone over to the dark side. Oh God, Randy's, you know, gone with all these higher end cars, and some of you miss the El Cheapo cars from the 80s and 90s. Well, not to worry. I'm not do this isn't permanent. I just, I wanted to do something different. I've been doing the same thing on the channel for so many years. I just, I wanted to do something different. I wanted to take some bigger risks and I wanted to show people that I'm not limited to these basic old cars from the 80s and the 90s. I can work on newer stuff too, including a Maserati or an S550. I am absolutely capable of wrenching on cars that are more modern and definitely in a whole nother league from the cars that you are used to seeing on the channel. So don't worry, I'll have some of the other stuff coming at some point, but I also plan on going bigger as well. Monkey Wrench Mike and I were just talking about maybe I need a Bentley on the channel. Maybe that's kind of the next thing we need to try to get is a Bentley and I would like to work up to maybe a Ferrari, possibly a Lamborghini. We'll see how it goes. We'll see how these videos do. But so far the videos on the, I want to say, German cars, but there just happens to be an Italian car thrown in the mix and a Korean car thrown in the mix as well. <laughs> um, the video views have been really, really good. So to all of you that are taking the time to watch the videos, support the channel. Thank you so much. I appreciate each and every one of you. Be sure to subscribe to the channel if you haven't already subscribed. Hit the thumbs up button if you enjoy this type of content. And don't forget to subscribe to Monkey Wrench Mike. His link is below the video. Till next time, stay safe out there, everybody. I look forward to seeing you all again very soon in the next one.